Hi friends, this is my preview for cookbooks and just household books. So I think I called this category kitchen and home. So let me show you what I've got. The first is just a coloring book, but it's a pretty one. Color Me Fearless. So nearly 100 coloring templates to boost strength and courage. So we have courage, strength, resilience, confidence, power, adventure, and freedom. Really pretty designs here. Okay. Then this is called 20 Lessons in Domestic Science. So this is a very old book, so it's separated here. But if you open it up, we have composition of food materials. This is whole milk, skim milk, buttermilk, and cream. More illustrations here. Composition of food materials. Grapes, raisins, canned fruit, fruit jelly, walnut, chestnut, peanut butter, and desiccated coconut. Um, so each lesson, like lesson number five, is proteins. Milk, eggs, boiled eggs, puff omelet, fried eggs, custard cooking school. Um, I don't know. It's like a, an outline of a kitchen there. All kinds of fabulous stuff in here, including some newspapers. Vegetables containing nitrogen and starch, cider sauce, mutton, curry, condiments. So all kinds of stuff. Cookbook slash domestic science. This is the Native, Native American cookbook. Um, so different Native American tribes and uh, foods that they used. So like maize, what to do with the leftover maize from the corn, um, wild rice, uh, Prince Albert, pumpkin bread, fish jerky, meat jerky. And then we have this fun book, The Hungry Scientist Handbook. So this is not vintage, obviously, but I had to have it. Um, Uber Bubbly Root Beer. see this is oh yeah okay so how to make like a circuit with some various things that you have around your house got, um, mallow ammo whip up launchable marshmallows cupboard keg beer brew beer from scratch isn't that cool pumpkin pin, pin up make a pinhole camera out of almost anything in the kitchen and then we have Betty Crocker's cookie book. This one is not vintage. It is from um, 2002. But I love that cookie cookbook. All right, the rest are here on the bookshelf. This is the Random House Book of Etiquette. This is a pretty rare find. Nightclubs. Oh, how much to tip people? Gum chewing etiquette? Don't do it. Uh, wedding plans. Um, Orthodox or conservative Jewish recessional. Uh, funerals in mourning. Oh, how much you fill up a glass. All kinds of good stuff. Gotta love those etiquette books. Uh, this is called For Good Measure, a cookbook for children. And that a cute little illustration. And look at how simple these recipes are. I like how these are set up on the page. I have two copies of Better Homes and Gardens Pies and Cakes. Then this is a lovely Good Housekeeping Encyclopedia of Houseplants. I really love that spine. If that doesn't sell, that will definitely go into like a um, coffee table set. And we've got some more cookbooks here. This is a Southern Living, Southern Heritage Cakes cookbook. So it's got all kinds of stuff. Um, about the South and here and history of the South along with recipes and where they came from. So like there's an old advertisement for cocoa and the chocolate sheath cake, James K. Polk fruit cake, uh, Martha Washington's great cake, petty fours, and some pictures of how to do things. And then this is Betty, Better Homes and Gardens homemade cookies cookbook. Let's just flip open marshmallow brownies, mm. refrigerator cookies, oatmeal cookies, tea time fancies. I have two Susan Branch Christmas books. They're so sweet. This is a keepsake book, Christmas Joy is a smaller book. Um, I like reading through, I read, I read the bigger one I'm going to show you in a second earlier today. It was just so sweet. So lots of recipes and little things about the holidays. And here's the bigger one, Christmas from the heart of the home. I've bought and sold this one once before and it's lovely. Again, it's just got recipes and then 
it'll have like little stories in here about her childhood Christmases. And then like I was reading one that had a list of different um, stocking stuffers and things in it. So just a really sweet little Christmas book. Then we have BHD Homemade Bread Cookbook. I've bought and sold this one quite a number of times. Everybody's into bread baking right now. This is one I've also had before, Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Sewing. Really extensive book. Hi, honey. Then um, this is uh, a farm journal cookbook, America's Best Vegetable Recipes. I've never had this one before. I've had the, the orange one, um, Cooking for Company, but not that one. And then I think I will probably sell all these Better Homes and Gardens as a set. So we have barbecue. These are all like 1969. Casseroles, dessert, holiday. Look at that birthday cake. And uh, meat. So I'm gonna sell those as a set. I think that's all folks, so that was quick. Okay, so those are all the cookbooks and the home books that I will have for sale this week, the week of August. 23rd in my email list. So I hope you found something to delight you and maybe interest you and I'll see you over in the email. Thanks for watching.